Welcome back. This is the third in a series of tutorials on Inspiration 8 concept mapping software. And in this tutorial we're going to have a look at outline mode. So far we've been creating everything in our diagram, but we can also translate this into an outline. Now I'll just remind you that in order for outlining to work properly, all the connectors need to be pointing from the central idea outwards from the secondary idea out to the tertiary or the third level ideas. So make sure that your diagram is structured that way and then all you need to do to generate an outline is click on outline. Now when we do that we can see that the work that we've done in diagram mode is reflected in our outline. For example, here's our main idea at the top, Canada's Food Guide. Indented below it, here's meat and alternatives. And the things that we attach to meat and alternatives are indented below that. So our organization within our diagram has been reflected in our organization in our outline. And these two modes are easy to get back and forth. We just click on Diagram, we go back to our diagram. Click on Outline, and we're back to our outline. We'll just toggle back and forth easily. Now, let's suppose that we wanted to organize things under grain products. We can actually do that organization within the outline. So, for example, if I click on Corn Flakes, and then I grab this blue square or rectangle beside that and I drag it down. If I drop it here with that red dot highlighted it will be remaining at the Roman numeral level. However, if I move in here to this red dot it will be an uppercase letter underneath grain products. And there we have it. So now I could come down here and do the same with oatmeal. Drag it up now I have three dots here. The first is our Roman numeral level, the second is our uppercase letter level, and the third would make this a subtopic underneath cornflakes. That's not what we want, so we'll go back to that middle dot, let go, and it puts it underneath grain products. When again, we can do the same with rice. Grab the blue square, move it up, make sure we have it at the appropriate outline level, and drop it right there. Now, if we wanted to, we can also create ideas here. So if I click on grain products, for example, I can create a subtopic underneath that, and I could type in something like So our organization can happen either at the diagram level or at the outline level. Here's bread. Now this gets a little trickier because of the position in our outline. So let's just scroll up. We can't see bread. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see both. Now let's say that we couldn't see both. Here's our solution. Okay, We would move bread part way up and drop it and then we would scroll up till we could see our grain products and we would move it the rest of the way like so. Now if we return to our diagram let's see what's happened. Here are our ideas now connected to grain products and here's our new idea barley flakes also connected to grain products but because we had set our default to this rounded rectangle with magenta background, it looks like that instead. So all we can do here, number of ways to do this, but the lazy man's way, if we're not sure what the exact color was, would be to set default, click, and apply default. And now it's the same as the rest of the grain products. And that's how we work in outline mode together with diagram mode. Now one more thing. Once we've generated our outline, and this one isn't quite finished but we'll pretend it is, we can also transfer this into a Word document. So we click on transfer here. 
Now, if this is the first time you've done this with your copy of Inspiration, it may ask you if you want to send this to Microsoft Word or to AppleWorks. And uh, if you have AppleWorks, that's fine, but in the Chinook School Division, where I'm from, we only have Microsoft Word, so you would choose Microsoft Word. We can include the diagram, we can include such things as notes, which we haven't got to yet in our tutorial, and we click on OK, and it goes off and it loads Microsoft Word. And now we see we have our diagram and our outline within Microsoft Word. And from here we can take our outline and flesh that out as a Word document. So it's very easy to transfer the work that we've done in Inspiration into a Microsoft Word document and not have to recreate that work a second time. That's all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial we'll look at incorporating graphics in our inspiration diagram.